want to give short introduction of the dynamics egg databases how many databases are connected to the dynamics ax first is model database second is database which is mainly related to data of the microsoft dynamics ax data third is base database to check which database is connected to microsoft dynamics ax just you need to go to the S, uh, dynamics ax server configuration Just I put the Dynamics X server configuration. Search your file. Here, database connection you can check. This is the Dynamics database name. This is baseline database. And if you open the SQL, then you can see both of database. And along with that, one more database is model database, which is named as Microsoft Dynamics AX underscore model database. Whatever customization, whatever element, table, form, classes, all AOT elements structure-wise, it resides in model database. And whatever data related to transaction master and settings, it resides in Dynamics AX database. But other than this, how many databases are connected to Dynamics AX? There may be some other database may be connected, which may be related to enterprise portal, reporting services, and analysis services. If you don't have configuration uh, access, then you can simply check from Dynamics AX which database is connected to your dynamics just you go to the system administrator administration inquiries database information click on this for you will know which database is connected to your dynamics AX second is reporting service databases when you will go to report server you can check your settings like here sql instance name here report manager url this dynamics ax folder created in this url and your application server name To check the reporting configuration database, just you need to uh, open the reporting services configuration manager. Here, yeah, just you need to connect to your SQL server. Just go to database, and here you can see if you like go to change database. I choose existing report database you will select then you can see your database name here you in your uh, lookup you can see report server and report server temp db in case of any issue you can create new database for reporting services here SQL server name database it is set as report server and report server mode is native and one another database which is related to your analysis analysis service server database nothing but whatever Things related to cube reportings, which is resides, which is stored in analysis server database. Just you need to click your analysis servers. Here you can see what your OLAP database. Currently these three are default. 
it is local host and OLAP database click currently there is no database attached to this uh, in this row but if you uh, configured OLAP or analysis server then you can see the database name here in OLAP databases other than that enterprise portal SharePoint you can open your SQL Server Management Studio you can see other database which related to X is here just connect to your database engine select databases whatever databases uh, will be to SharePoint you can see here currently it's not configured in uh, the system so you cannot see SharePoint databases otherwise it will be automatically come to the SQL server database whatever uh, uh, things related to enterprise portal it's uh, there in enterprise portal in system administrator if you installed enterprise portal and you are connected to Dynamics AX then you can go to your websites you can view in browser your website here you will see the link of EP external URL and internal URL type EP related things is in EP enterprise portal section and one more things is there is services and application integration framework there is inbound ports if you have any integration with third party systems then you can use application integration framework or existing AIF uh, inbound port is inside here if any time port is stop then uh, your system SSL report it is will stop working then there may be one reason that your inbound maybe port may be have been stopped you need to enable it activate it if it is disabled already and even if the problem not gone then you can do the full CIL of your system just go to control D here build it uh, you can give generate in Windows CIL then generate full CIL full CIL do nothing but it act reactivate the all ports default ports of AX your system will be up after the full CIL completely running OK and if you are running any uh, you facing any bug and you can compile your application to compile all the codes if any error then you need to remove the error these all things I have elevated which is important for Dynamics AX point of view and thanks once again for watching this videos I hope you are learning daily one by one tips from us and obviously if you like my channels my videos don't forget to subscribe it I am sharing day by day uh, at least weekly one or two videos to our channels and I hope soon we will upload some Dynamics 365 related videos to our channel if you will stay connected to us you will learn free of cost here
Thank you once again for watching this clip.